Hello family, we're back again with our last video for the evening. Yes, I'm taking in the wee hours of uh, the 30th of April Thursday at 12.05 a.m. Yes, we're still serving you up videos to partake of whenever you do have time, okay? Only when you do have time because you know I get long-winded sometimes. And I know my family be like, oh, damn, speed it up a little bit. Damn, you know, you talk too much i know it i know it but those who've been rocking with me know that's how i get down so stop telling me because i'm still gonna do what i want to do all right but hey family how y'all doing how y'all doing out there all right hopefully you're still being safe being well and staying in from that coronavirus self oh uh, we call it six feet apart self distancing that's what we need but we're gonna go on and get into this story yes that uh showbiz cheat sheet put out by trey magnum uh, done on the 29th of April. Okay. Trying to serve up another salacious story to partake in. And of course, Candy Burris is one of our heavy hitters over here. It used to be Kenya Moore. And then it used to be Nene. Then it used to be Portia. Cynthia here and there. Marlo. And it just goes downhill after that. Okay. But basically, we're going to be talking about an article. Like I said, Trey Magnum had put out. And um, he titled it, Candy Burris says she and Todd Tucker have had arguments over his daughter. Okay, now I don't know what world y'all live in or what world I'm living in right now. Or just how we get down, period, when it comes to marrying uh, when already with already made families. You know what I'm saying? Uh, divorcees, however you want to put them, they make families with other people then you get remarried and then the cycle starts all over we start being a, a stepfather stepmother to you know other entities other kids and stuff of that nature because you know candy she's been handled about uh that's a lot in the back y'all hold on what you watch boy hush okay he wants some attention too all right but anyway don't call the dog people on me okay like i'm not paying attention to him he's just having ear problems and you know he old and grumpy too hell but anyway going back to the article yes we're gonna be talking about uh block and how candy feels about not being able to tell a biological parent about their children which I call this bullshit. If you put love in, you invest in your time and energy, and you put money on them, shit, yeah, you, you got to say. You got to say. I don't care if you're the biological parent or not. When they need money, when they need time and attention, you there, right? So when some decisions need to be made on how we raising this child or what we feel this child need to have in their life, you got to damn sure believe I'm going to be making my opinions known. And it ain't going to be all about you got the last say. Oh, hell no, okay? This is not how it goes in my world. World. But it seems like Candy has her world locked up all the way around Todd. And just as long as Todd not giving her no beef or back talk when it comes to Riley or Blaze and Ace, she ain't got shit to say. You know, let clear heads prevail on Todd, Tucker, Kayla, and Kayla's real biological mom. I guess that's how she's leaving it. And if she cool with it, doing it that way, I'm fine with it too. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm putting my money, I'm investing my money, and I'm setting her up for a nice future as we go along with the other three kids we got in tow, damn sure I'm going to have a say. You can best believe that. But getting back to the article, it says Todd Tucker and Kenny Burris have had their ups and downs on season 12 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Though things ended up on a high note, Burroughs spoke recently about how their parenting methods sometimes clash. All right. Candy Burroughs and Todd Tucker were at odds as the season 12 final, uh, finale approached. Ahead of season 12 finale, Burroughs and Tucker were going through a conflict. Burroughs was away from home a lot and she was filming for her role on the upcoming third season of Showtime's The Shy. Okay. When she came home, she often had a lot of work obligations and media appearances. Tucker believed that she was not devoting enough time to the family. The two even had a therapist come over to help them work through problems. So y'all know I did a video on that. And I think Todd just need to keep his mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? And keep it moving. Because if the tables were, re were reversed and turned, Candy would be at home with them children while he's still out there making money, making it do what it do in the name of I'm trying to take care of the family. Okay, I'm trying to provide. 
provide for the family. You know what I'm saying? It's always a double-edged sword there. But going back to the article, that's just my sidebar. Leading into the baby shower, which was the focal point of season 12 finale. The couple were also at odds because Tucker didn't speak to Burris' mother, Mama Joyce, at a restaurant when they were all there. Though they had a tiff at the baby shower, Tucker apologized to her on stage for all that happened. And we're so glad Tucker apologized to Candy because it, it could have been another situation where Candy was going to pull them rings on them bank accounts, okay? So he knew he had did the infraction on tape on the show. He had to apologize royally on the show to make amends. You see what I'm saying? Just trying to keep everything kosher. Then the article, that's just my sidebar. We go back into the article. It says, Candy Burris recently opened up about parenting differences. Okay, Burris and Tucker both have children from previous relationships. Tucker's daughter, Kayla, is 23. Burris' daughter, Riley, is 17. They have two younger children together, four-year-old Ace and four-month-old Blaze. Burris spoke about the differences and the way she and Tucker Tucker. Tucker, parent Kayla on the Real Housewives of Atlanta after the show alongside Kenya Moore. We definitely have had arguments in the past, mainly because with Kayla, say if it's around her birthday or around Christmas, he likes to determine what we're going to do for her during those times where he bases it off of, well, she needs to save money for this or that. We should just hold it until this happens, whatever, where else I just feel like. What if she got in trouble this day if it's her birthday? So just let her do what she wants to do. And I'll, you know, just have a sidebar right there. You know, when Todd started coming talking that old yang yang yin yang shit, I'm like, who made this money? Did I do it? I'll be a Bobby Brown on he you know, his ass. I'll be like, uh, I made this money. You did? Right, Todd? We out of here. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, whatever. I would have just said, Look, bruh. These are occasions that we celebrate, whether they deserve it or not. This is just what we do, okay? We ain't talking about getting good grades. We talking about a birthday celebration. Of course, everybody have a birthday every year if they're um if, if they are uh, good enough or blessed enough to see another birthday. See what I'm saying? Could have been dead pushing up days. It's all right underground, and I'm not talking about going underground trying to shop us you know a, a little thing we call hat underground of atlanta here in atlanta where you go underground in a sense and you shop and stuff we, we weren't talking about nothing like that we talking about six feet on no breath in your body no life and, and you pushing up days with that manure and dirt and whatever comes out the ground you see what i'm saying but uh i was like okay candy we could see his point damn sure can but if you're the breadwinner it don't really make no difference what he or uh, what he really say or, or you know as long as she in my presence she's under my roof or our roof however you want to look at it you know it's candy roof she's making the most money let's be serious about this uh whether todd had a serious feeling about it or not it wouldn't face me not one hell of a, a hell of a being because i'm like todd let me let, let's just get something straight here i make more money than you okay uh i'm really the provider of the house um though i try to lean on better understanding since i am your wife i try to be submissive when i can but um uh, you do a lot of shit i don't care for you act up you do a lot of things that I disagree with, and I have to forgive you and move on. I don't hold grudges when it comes to your birthday uh, coming up and what we're going to plan and do. I don't say, well, damn, you fucked up this time um, about four months ago, so you're not eligible to have this car I was going to give you or this watch I was going to give you or this vacation trip I was going to let you go on, you know, by yourself or whatever. I mean, I was going to surprise you on your actual birthday. And then, you know, if you want to still hang out with the boys, whatever, you know, I can set y'all up, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just don't have no thoughts and no holes running around there, okay? Hey, I'm me and Bundy time. You know what I'm saying? Talk shit, whatever. But but don't do none of that stuff. Other stuff for females, okay? And don't even get down on the lo down low if you need to, okay? Call me, I'll service you, and then you go on about your merry way. But like I said, you know, you do some foul shit that Candy don't, uh hold anything against you when it comes to want to celebrate your birthday and christmases and and all the different things we want to celebrate where we spend money on one another so why should you or why should she listen to you when it comes to kayla done effed up 
you know, some money situations, some transactions. Hell, she 23. She gonna mess up. Hell, she probably mess up when she 50. You know what I'm saying? But then she be in her own little ditch doing her own little thing. And if Candy still want to throw her money, if y'all still together, then let the money flow. Hell, she still putting it on her mama. She still putting it on her uh, other family members, cousins, uh, other aunts, grandma, who, you know, whoever. You know what I'm saying? She still throwing money. Friends. And they mess up all the time, probably in her eyes, but she's still doing her thing, being a little giver, the Samaritan running around in her household and other people's households. You know, she just have a good heart in that way. And maybe do some people do take advantage of her. But then again, you know, I'm like, Candy, 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 girl, stop fooling us. You know, I'm still knowing, I, 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 girl, if you're doing it, you're doing it wrong. Because you don't, pun, you don't punish her and then uh, reward him when he's doing crazy stuff out there you just don't do it but that's just my sidebar tear it too long so let's get on back to the article um it says here when more said uh that it seems like birth is the more lenient parent out of the two she agreed however she still says at the end of the day kayla is an adult uh, Todd feels like if she hasn't been responsible in a situation or whatever, then she shouldn't get this or she shouldn't do that. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm just like, okay, but she's 23. Let her live. And I'm with you on that, Ken. She grown. She don't really need your permission to do anything. You know, as long as it ain't, you know, really vulgar or it's causing distress, you know, by, for you or any other person. Family members are putting them in a bad disposition or whatnot for the negative. Well, we got the law involved. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, she is grown. So why are you even talking to Todd about his grown-ass daughter? If you want to get her money, if you want to set her up financially, you do what you do. That's a transaction between another grown person. Uh, she's not a child. She do an infraction out there that requires um, jail time. You can best assure they're going to tie her to the letter of the law and sentence her accordingly okay so uh yeah why are we having, having a conversation of todd don't want his daughter to have this todd don't want his daughter to have that it, it mind boggles me because i'm like again she is 23 years old she done passed the legal age of 21 so why are you having a conversation you should strictly be talking to uh, Kayla about what she wants what she desires and what we can put out there for her to have uh, compliments of her stepmom Candy Burris you know what I'm saying and if you want to you know, run it by Todd and tell him what you've already done not asking his permission okay because you don't need no permission for you to be dealing with another adult you see what I'm saying she might be a young adult but she's still an adult I right, so you know I just dropped 50 G's on your uh, daughter for her birthday and whatnot just want to let you know don't want to hear you talk about nothing or why i did it how i did it and why i didn't consult you don't need to consult you i drop money on you anytime i feel like it. i don't discuss that with your ex-wife or your ex-girlfriend or uh your daughter or your daughter's mother biological mother i don't do that so why would i have a discussion about where i'm gonna drop my money you know what i'm saying it's my money i made it I made this money. You did. Okay. Right, Ted? We out of here. That's what Bobby Brown said. I, I be doing that too in my real life. Okay. When people kind of question me or what I'm going to do with my hard-earned money, whether I want to do some fake food, reflect, refrigerate, and shit with it, or whether I want to be responsible is my choice. Okay. It's my choice. I'm going to do it my way. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Burris also brought up, hey, what it though? I don't want that. Come on back now. The phone is messing up, y'all. The phone is trying to mess me up. Oh, let's see. Sensitive people. So much to give. This Marvin Gaye playing in the background, y'all. Wee! But anyway, I wish I could play it for you. But you know, I get censored, get copyrighted, and uh, all my videos worth shit then, okay? Okay, but in this way, it says, uh, Burris also brought up the fans have criticized her for letting Kayla get away with a lot of things. And although she's Kayla's stepmother, Burris says as her biological father, Tucker has the authority when it comes to his daughter. I'm trying to figure out what you let Kayla get away with. I'm confused. 
because it seemed like Kayla always be getting the short end of the stick. And I really hadn't heard anything of Riley doing anything wrong uh, to where she's taking advantage of your kind-heartedness. So I don't know what that part means. Kayla gets away with a lot of things. Kayla don't get away. Kayla don't get away with a lot in my eyes that Riley get a, get away with. So, but then again, like I said, I haven't really seen Riley do anything detrimental for the negative. Now, do she really needed a Porsche? Well, we found out she was leasing that Porsche for Riley. She don't own that car. Okay, she didn't drop down all the money, seven seventy grand, fifty to seventy grand on the car, and say, "Hey, baby, just show us. Here's the deed, or here's the title to the vehicle, in case you want to buy something else." But it's yours, honey. Lock, stock, and barrel. No, we can't do no shit like that. Um, she leased the car for Riley. And, you know, people had their opinions. But people going to do what they want to do when it comes to their children. But sometimes I think these celebrities just, you know, if you're not buying the car out, don't front. Just go and get them a souped up, a uh, nice skirted out, a uh, uh, decked out car like a Honda, a Cord or a Toyota Camry. You know, something that's economical. And you know they ain't paid nothing for it. And probably don't have the time really deserve it either. But you, you don't feel like being their chauffeur. You don't feel like having another grown person being their chauffeur. So you just like hurry them, get them, get their license. Hopefully they take some more driving classes. So they'll be fit to be out there driving amongst the nuts that are out there in the street. Offensively as well as defensively. Uh, just buy them a car that, you know, you don't mind them wrecking or tearing up or, you know, because they don't, they don't know how to drive anyway and they just testing the waters. But you don't go and buy them a Porsche. So I kind of agree with Todd. You know, that was a bit much. You know, Honda Accord did fine. Camry does fine. Kia does fine. You know, at least it ain't an ABC car, you know, where it only gets you to point A to point B. You don't probably want to go to C and D and E. But. You know, teach his own. But going back to the article, it says we can talk to each other about what we feel should happen in certain situations. But ultimately, you know, the birth parent in that situation has the final say. Now, in the future with our smaller kids that we have together, obviously, we're going to have to compromise a bit more, she said. And I'm like, Ken, okay, let's go back. Let's go way on, way back when. I didn't know you. You couldn't have been too much more than 10. Okay, I just took that from a record. But anyway. Uh, I have a problem with that statement. Why are you saying the biological parent has a say-so? I mean, have you given much say-so to Block? Did you talk with Block on whether you should do certain things with Riley? Have y'all had that conversation? Or is it more so, I do what I want to do, that's my child, and fuck Block? Even though he's the uh, dad of, you know, Riley? I, I'm just trying to figure that out because you're giving Todd so much leeway. So you mean to tell me, because I'm getting concerned too, Mama Joyce might have a little point. You might not have all your uh, thoughts together. Uh, so somebody need to definitely talk with you about money you're leaving in case you find yourself deceased. Uh, are you cutting block in for some of that money? Or are you just holding it all up for Riley and hopefully she will be a independent a strong-minded person to know how to deal with the money that you may leave her excessively uh well she won't run through it or or, or have other people run through her money and then she'd be like pretty much really fending for herself uh so you're gonna let Todd take care of everything when it comes to Riley because I know he should be good on taking care of Ace and uh blaze i'm guessing but you know i we don't really have a good track record on how he feels about his biological daughter kayla and how he feels she don't need this she don't need that you know especially if it's coming out of his cut or whatever you're supposed to be leaving him you know what i'm saying maybe you should have it where um if you love kayla something well, since she's a sound mind and body, I guess you couldn't say, well, you want Todd as well as her biological mom, Riley's biological mom, to dish out her money to her in case she feels like she's in a precarious situation where she's dealing with people that don't want the best for her or they could possibly use her, meaning her boyfriend, girlfriend, however she gets down, and you just want to protect her on that that platform 
uh, where she's not really managing her money well and she might need a financial advisor. But, you know, of course, they're going to have to be paid to um, to watch out for her if she gets in a situation like that, depending on how massive of an amount of money you're leaving, Kayla. Um <sighs> I mean, I don't understand. You're saying two things, but then you're not really making sense. So I'm like, if anything happened to you, Candy, does that mean Block gets to have a say-so uh, in young Riley's life if you were to have become deceased in the next couple of years? You know, because she wouldn't be a grown adult in our eyes until 21 because that's legally aged to drink and pretty much do anything you want to do. You know, the 18 is kind of shaking. Uh, they don't really kind of consider you an adult to, you know, drinking age and, and voting age and all that. But I guess you can vote at 18, so you get emancipated from your parents. I guess you can do a lot of things at 16. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just throwing out hints. So you're saying Block can come in and make decisions on Riley Park since you're saying since the biological parent has to, uh, you give them authority or you see that they have more authority than you do when you're the step parent. <sighs> that don't really make sense, Candy, when you really think about it in the grand scheme of things, of how you put that. So, maybe I'm, I'm just going to let that go for now. But I'm like, okay, because how you really saying it that is blocked. You know, since he is um, Riley's biological, biological dad, you know. He can pretty much come in and and say how he feels he wants Riley to be raised. And since he is the father and she has not deemed him unfit, you know, he may have some questionable ways on taking care of Riley if he ever did give her anything throughout her life uh, of growing up to where she is now. We don't know because you didn't really bring him in or maybe he didn't want to be filmed or maybe he could have been wanting to be a willing participant to film with you on the Real Housewives of Atlanta if you would give him some royalties or some greenbacks, you know what I'm saying? And maybe you didn't want to do that and, and you know, it just is what it is. It would have been a great storyline, but I guess you would have to share some of the wealth that way and probably Todd would have had something to say because it would have been cutting into his, you know, uh situation of you giving him money because it was expressed that he gets ten thousand from you uh for taping on the show you know paulo got his look good greg got his look good still getting his look good i don't know peter would get his look good and they're trying to get matt jordan in a look good with kenya but he didn't know how to play things up but it seemed like todd is in there for the long haul or at least um to the point of whatever he signed in his prenup agreement or what he would bring to the table and he would be responsible and faithful to you over a certain amount of time and once that time has expired i'm pretty sure you will see the back of his ass you know when he feels like he don't have enough okay but it's just here what it is candy you know i'm just saying play it a little bit more smarter than what i'm seeing you saying and what i'm reading here in the social media streets with you doing interviews and stuff say what you mean baby because i'm like okay well maybe you got blocked some money because i don't know if he's gonna get all that money to riley either he might have to break a little in for himself too so i think it's best for you to start dealing with these uh young adults as they are and writing up contracts with them instead of you saying oh uh kayla you know Todd is Kayla's biological dad, and, you know, she, he has a right. And, no, he don't have nothing. You're dealing with an adult. Kayla is an adult. She's over 21 years old, and you set her up how you feel she needs to be set up. Forget whatever hell Todd talking about, because she ain't 16. She ain't 17. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't even let him tell you how to do Riley. And even if you did, honey, Mama Joyce would be coming down like a swoop of, uh, what do you call them things? Um... Ravens, not any ravens. What they call them birds that they be flying over carcasses when they dead, like roadkill, buzzards. I mean, you know, shoot, man, Mama Joyce and them uh, aunts will be on top and like white on rice, white on rice. Um, 
if he ever tried to shortchange Riley, if anything happened to you, Candy. Child, that would be a hot mess, girl. I'm just saying, you need to compartmentalize some things. Have your wheel set up for your aunts. Have your wheel set up for your mama. Have your wheel set up for Riley, Blaze, Ace, Kayla, and any family members that I left out or any friends. Because when that person is deceased and they're gone out of this lifetime, people get crazy about that money, honey. They'll come up with every kind of story, every kind of deed. That don't seem to be legit. You know Mama Joyce would be all over your wheel. <laughs> Saying, nah, she ain't want to talk to Addie. She, she'll have people in court. They'll be going to spend all the money. And lawyers trying to hold Todd from the ma- the money. And then Riley be up there. She's supposed to be trying to go to school to be an entertainer or turn it herself. I'm like, child, that'll be a hot mess, girl. A hot mess. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know. What y'all felt about um, what was displayed as an article written up by a journalist over there at uh, Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Do uh, you think Block would swoop in and take up all the money that can left for Riley? Or you think Todd would have something to say about that? I mean, we all talking about biological parents. And Block is the biological parent of Kayla, honey. <laughs> Ooh, child, that'll be a shame. That'll be a shame and a scandal. A shame and a scandal. All right. But anyway, that's all I had. Guys, enjoy the video. Get down in the comments. Tell me what y'all felt about the issue. Yeah, Candy cheated on this woman with her husband. It made that, oh, child, believe it made baby Riley. Okay. But again, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the videos, and I will see y'all next time. Good night.